Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by with season one here in MW3 and Warzone. We are going to see basically our first major weapons update and major meta update take place. We are not only seeing the introduction of a bunch of new MW3 weapons to the overall arsenal, but we're also going to see several other new weapon updates in the form of aftermarket updates, weapon buffs and nerfs, everything in between there. So today we are previewing all of the confirmed changes and known changes when it comes to the season one weapon updates. As we get into the details, if you enjoy the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. It would be seriously appreciated. And if you're new to the channel or you simply haven't subscribed yet, almost 50% of the viewers watching are not already subs. So if that's you, let's Let's change that because every single day I got you covered with news, updates, meta breakdowns, patch notes, quite literally everything going on in COD is right here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button to always stay up to date. But let's start first with all of our new weapons for season one because we actually have five new weapons dropping throughout the season including three right away at launch here on december 6th so a lot to go for here all of these weapons are going to be free either through the battle pass or through various different in-game challenges like the armory or weekly challenges a bit later on into the season so first up here we've got the xrk stalker sniper rifle and this is one of those free weapons via the battle pass right away so you can get this just by going through these sectors and maxing these out and this is the description of the xrk stalker stalk your prey and lay them out with this tactical sniper rifle chambered in 50 cal for one hit eliminations look no further the xrk stalker sniper rifle deals massive damage and is highly customizable to support multiple play styles enhance the weapon's velocity and stability and strike from the shadows or improve its handling capabilities to become a quick scoping menace so you'll be able to build this thing out in a bunch of different ways whether you want to go all in on mobility and ads speed for quick scoping or for long distance gun fights where you want that good velocity almost sort of hit scan feel there so seems pretty versatile for a sniper and obviously that expands on the current sniper arsenal which doesn't really have too much going on we only have the three mw3 snipers so this does bring that total up to four we also have the return of the ram 7 assault rifle this is again going to be available for free in the battle pass this time sector a7 and obviously the ram is a classic in the new modern warfare trilogy we had this back in mw 2019 in warzone 1 and it absolutely was a fan favorite rifle and this year it's returning in that standard form so they say exceptionally compact this bullpup assault rifle sports a lightweight polymer frame and is chambered in versatile 5.56 when you need power and mobility, the Ram 7 is a sure bet. The weapon deals solid damage at close and medium range, and its control and in controlled bursts uh, can compete from afar. Its lightweight frame results in a quick reload and fast handling, so you can stay on the offensive. Based on this description, it does seem like it's going to be more of like a sniper support style rifle, very similar to how it worked back in Warzone 1 for sure. So definitely getting some potential nostalgia out of this. For long range, it seems like it's going to have maybe a bit more recoil or the damage drop off is going to fall off a bit more there so might not be the most effective for ranged fights but for sniper support or mid-range more of an aggressive rifle this could be a really really good choice we also have the storm ender launcher which is going to be an extra peculiar weapon and one that i don't actually know if people are going to use all that much this is again available for free in the battle pass this time sector a12 and this is how they describe this the state-of-the-art weapon system fires a localized EMP on a slight delay, destroys tactical and lethal equipment, and temporarily disables other electronic devices. This brand new weapon has the power to shoot down specific kill streaks and take out drones with its lock-on capabilities. With unlimited recharging ammo and the ability to disable and delay enemy equipment, this weapon serves as a very real shock to the system, though damage to operators is minimal. So this is basically almost a non-lethal launcher you're not going to be using this to get kills as they say the damage to operators is minimal so it'll do some but not much and it's probably not worth using to try and get kills with instead this is more like an anti-streak or an anti-equipment launcher kind of curious that they're actually debuting this as like a new battle pass weapon but i guess it's uh, something they can throw in a tier and say hey it's a new weapon right so the battle pass has more content this one's definitely a bit more gimmicky though hey everyone it's holiday season and if you're looking for the perfect stocking stuffer or gift this year look no further than g fuel whether you're trying to treat yourself this holiday season or pick up something for some friends or some family g fuel's got you covered with a little bit of something for everyone whether you're trying to restock on your favorite flavors maybe try something new they got the tubs the starter kits even just some straight up shaker cups if you're looking to grab a new one of those if you want to pick up anything at 
all from the G Fuel sites. Be sure to go ahead and throw in code IMMORTAL at checkout for that nice little discount. Link for that will be down in the description below if you're interested. And then coming in season, the first new weapon that we have for that is the HRM9 SMG. And this will be available in season through an armory unlock. So we'll have to keep our eyes out for this. And for this, they describe it as a light yet stable 9mm SMG for close quarters combat and putting down enemies quickly. Sporting a high fire rate and excellent handling and mobility, the HMR9 is the perfect fit for aggressive run and gun play styles. Aim down sights for precise fire or enter attack stance and run circles around your enemies. Use the gunsmith to enhance the weapon's mid-range capabilities, improve its close quarters performance, or a combination of the two. So this definitely seems like it's going to be a high mobility, more aggressive SMG, maybe similar to like the uh, Wasp Swarm, for instance, with that high fire rate and good movement. And like I said, that'll be an in-season update. So it could be week two of season one it could be week six we're just gonna have to wait and see for that then we also have the TAC Evolver to round things out. And this is going to be a new LMG. They don't exactly specify how we're going to unlock this, but if I had to guess, it's probably going to be through some of the weekly challenges a bit later on down the road with like uh, Season 1 Reloaded, for instance. And for this one, they describe it as an advanced multi-caliber LMG capable of firing 7.62 or 5.56 with minimal adjustments to the weapon. Versatile and exceptionally lethal in the right hands, this all-new LMG is capable of taking down both infantry and artillery, whichever chooses to cross its path. A wide variety of attachments are available via the gunsmith, allowing you to tailor it to any play style. So really no huge descriptions there other than it's going to have multiple different ammo types, basically. But a pretty good selection of new weapons kind of going all across the board in terms of weapon categories. It's not just like a spam of rifles and SMGs like in years past. We actually get some diversity there, which is definitely nice to see. Now, in addition to the just straight up base new weapons that we're seeing throughout season one of MW3 and Warzone, we're also going to see a ton of new new aftermarket parts all throughout the season. Some are going to be available at launch, some are going to be in season, and there's a pretty decent variety of these as well. So for instance, we've got the Jack Purifier coming, which is basically going to be an underbarrel flamethrower. And this is going to be available on the MCW, the MTZ 556, the Holger 556, the DG56, the SVA 545, the Ram 7, the MTZ 762, the Bass B, the Sidewinder, and the Riveter. We've got the Jack Etten double barrel kit coming for the AMR9, which is going to be a very interesting change to that. It offers twice as much downrange damage at the cost of some accuracy. We've got the Jack Thunder LMG kit available for the Sidewinder, which makes it an LMG, obviously. We've got the Jack BRB for many assault rifles, SMGs, battle rifles, marksmen, and snipers. And this basically gives you a ton of recoil control, but makes your red dots stay longer on the enemy minimap, which is an interesting trade-off. We've got the Jack Bullseye. They haven't said what this is going to be available on yet, but it's going to be a different optic. We've got the Jack Glassless Optic. Again, have not said where this is going to be available. We've got the Jack Signal Burst available on the Holger 556. This is going to be a four round burst conversion. We've got the Jack Beholder Rifle Kit for the Tier Handgun, and this basically changes this into a one-shot sniper rifle. That's going to be a crazy change for sure. Then we also have the Jack Headhunter Carbine Conversion Kit for the Rival 9, and this basically makes it a three-round burst conversion kit that is better for range. So lots of weapon-changing different aftermarket parts dropping all throughout the season. It'll be fun to mess around with some of those. And then lastly, of course, with any new weapon update and seasonal update, we are going to have an actual meta update as well with various different weapon buffs and nerfs. Now, as of right now, Sledgehammer has not gone into the exact specifics of this weapon's going to get buffed by this much, or this weapon's going to get nerfed here and with its recoil and with its ADS speed or whatever. But they have said previously that with season one, we are going to see more of an overhead weapon meta update with some various buffs and nerfs to the obvious weapons, uh, very face value changes here. So some of the more powerful rifles, probably like the MCW, the Holger, maybe the DG-58, some more, those are probably going to see some nerfs to balance them out with some of the other mid to long range weapons in the game. Some of the underwhelming weapons, primarily the SMG category, is likely to see even more buffs as well, alongside probably some buffs to some of the other shotguns as they've sort of alluded to previously. So we know that there are going to be various different weapon updates there. Uh, but like I said, the specifics have not been fully revealed. The patch notes on Wednesday with the update will go into all the details there and have actual detailed statistics, you know, buffing 
upping the damage range by 10 meters or by 15 percent because sledgehammer's all in on that transparency this year so we'll have that to break down here in the coming days and obviously once those patch notes are out you know i'm gonna have a video covering those right as that happens so stay tuned for that alongside everything else going on in the world of cod by hitting that subscribe button and turning on those post notifications and of course if you enjoyed this video do me a favor and drop a like on it it would be seriously appreciated but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out